so today's topic is uh, cystode types and basically classification of cystode you can divide them into two types cyclophyllidia or cyclophyllidian cystodes and pseudophyllidia or also known as pseudophyllidian cystode so these are the two uh, types or two um, classes of cystode that are seen and today we will learn how to differentiate between them and it is also very important from your exam point of view now <laughs> as we know that cystodes have adult worms uh, they are flat or also known as tap worm they have a head portion known as collax and this collax in case of pseudophyllidian cystode is spoon shape while in cyclophyllidian it is more of a globular uh, in pseudophyllidian it is having a groove two sucking grooves are there slate like while in case of uh, cyclophyllidian you can have four muscular suckers i have drawn here three but actually one is uh, on the back side because i cannot draw 3d diagram sorry for that but uh, basic difference is you have sucking two slate like grooves in case of pseudophyllidian and four muscular suckers in case of cyclophyllidian if we talk about body segments then body segment have genital pore and this genital pore is usually opening into the center of the body segment so the male reproductive organs they open via this genital pore into the center of the body segment so genital pore opening is in the center of uh, body segment in case of pseudophyllidian while in case of cyclophyllidian uh, if you see this genital pore opens laterally on the margins of the segment so just by looking at the genital pore you can say that it is pseudophyllidian or uh, cyclophyllidian because sometimes only segments are found in stool so it is important to know even by looking at segment that whether it is pseudo or cyclo that will narrow down the diagnosis now the uterine pore is also opens in the center just besides the genital pore and in case of cyclophyllidian there is no uterine pore uterus has no opening on the segment it ends blindly okay now the type of uterus or morphology of uterus it is usually coiled in case of pseudophyllidian within a segment while in case of cyclophyllidian you can see different kinds of morphology from worm to worm but three major uh, types i am showing you here first is sac like uterus uh, second variety is a uterus uh, which is centrally situated but having lots of lateral branches so branching of uterus and sometimes the number of branches can differentiate some worms that we will discuss in few worms uh, later on now some are showing you that uterus is filled with egg capsules so in uh, pseudophyllidian it is simply coiled while in case of cyclophyllidian you can have three varieties either it is sac like or it is branched or it is containing a capsule so that is one morphological form second morphological form is eggs eggs which are released from the gravid segment uh, they are usually operculated operculum is an opening of egg which releases the content outside so this operculum is seen in case of pseudophyllidian system so operculated egg are usually found in pseudophyllidian this egg when they are released they are usually immature so operculate immature eggs are there in case of cyclophyllidian they are more or less spherical in shape they are mature egg having this uh, six hooklets or actually i should say th three pairs of hooklets and they have uh, an two layers around it and the inner layer is uh, radially striated and it is known as embryo four which i am drawing right now so this is the embryo four which covers this uh, uh, six pad hooklets uh, containing ovum mature ovum 
So as you can see, there is no opercula. Uh, so these eggs are non-operculated. They are mature eggs with six hooklets or three pairs of hooklets. They're having an inner uh, layer known as embryophore, which is striated layer. Uh, the hooklets containing egg is known as oncosphere and this oncosphere is sometimes also known as hexacanth embryo hexa means six and because it has hooklet that's why it is known as hexacanth embryo uh, it has an outer layer also which uh, and between inner and outer layer uh, there are yolk granules but this layer is usually lost uh, in case of stool so some with the most of the time it is only the inner layer that we can see so a non operculated egg with uh, an inner layer of uh, embryo 4 with mature egg is seen now if we talk about larval forms that means baby worms then uh, how what are the different larval forms that you can see in case of pseudo phyllidian cystode the first larval stage is a ciliated embryo with six pairs of hooks sorry six pair nee, three pairs of hook that is total six hooklets so this is known as ciliated or coracidium also known as the ciliated embryo or ciliated larva that is known as coracidium and <coughs> The oncosphere which is released from uh, cyclophyllidian cystode, it is usually non-ciliated, having six hooks or three pairs of hooklets. The second larval stage uh, is prosarcoid larva. And third larval stage is more elongated, more developed, that is uh, plerosarcoid larva. It is more solid compared to or prosarcoid larva. Now sometimes people don't consider coracidium or ciliated embryo the first stage larva as first stage. In textbook sometimes it is written that prosarcoid is first stage and plerosarcoid is uh, second stage and they consider that ciliated coracidium is uh, oncosphere which is released. So anyways but we are discussing differences. Uh, the cyclophyridian cystode they have uh, larval form which is solid with uh, future head coming out as I have drawn it is known as cysticercoid larva and if it is hollow from inside containing fluid then we call it a cysticercus uh, form so as you can see future head is seen it is cysticercus and sometimes there is a big structure with lots of future heads inside it uh, and it is sac like then it is known as coenorus so sometimes coenurus uh, la uh, larval form is seen in some uh, cyclophyllidian uh, cystodes and hydrated cyst uh, which is seen in case of echinococcus granulosus the dog tap pump here you will see lots of uh, big uh, cystic structures having lots uh, many scolysis uh, within them so this is the biggest uh, larval form that you can uh, see so these are different larval forms uh, in case of pseudo as well as cyclophyridian cystode so i hope the differences are clear